I'm living to bed. Final exit. The practicalities of self-deliverance. Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, bringing you the next section of this God of War 3 Chaos Difficulty video walkthrough. And right now we are on the path of Eos as we were before, and we're about to uh, ascend the chain. So run around here, collect the, the lovely chest full of red goodness, and then let's see what's happening. So I've got quite a few orbs at this moment in time, I'm rocking 7,500. So I'm probably going to upgrade something. And my money is on the Blades of Exile. And I've got 7,000, so definitely. And that's going to unlock Spirit of Hercules, Valor of Hercules, Athena's Wrath, and Army of Sparta, level 2. So let's have a look at that. Anything good? Obviously the Army of Sparta, level 2, is a, a nice bonus. Uh, the Evading Triangle is just ridiculous. Never do that because it slows you down so much. That's it there, what I just did. It looks powerful, but you, you're locked into that animation and it fucks you up. Uh, that was the other combo I've just unlocked as well, if anybody's wondering. And right now I'm just running around this area to make sure there's nothing I've missed, and it will inevitably push you into this section, which is the flying moment. The chain of balance. Problem with this bits is, these flying sections are half fun the first time you do them. They just last a little long, and... When you're playing on Chaos Difficulty, you can only afford to hit something about two to three times. Any more than that, and you're going to die and have to do the entire thing again. So when these sections last really long, it isn't cool. So let's have a see how well I do on this one, because I can't remember uh, what my recording run was like, but I just know that these moments can be a bastard on Chaos. So just focus as much as you can on getting through the gaps. Don't worry about getting too close to the chain, it seems to be the best strategy for some of these moments. And just try not to hit anything. It is going to get gradually more difficult as things start falling through. And sometimes, if you hit one thing, you can't recover in time to not hit the next thing. So it can kind of be like a death syndrome. So just be aware of that. And we've come through here and it's doing a little cinematic. And I don't know if it's checkpointed yet, because some of these moments really don't have checkpoints. That's the Titan that was climbing up, so he's having a go at us. And Kratos once again proves how much of a fucking hypocrite he is because we have to push two analogs in after we've filled a bar to pull that sword out and he does it just for fun of it. But once that's happened, you're going to land on this, this ledge here and there's going to be a little bit of platforming so that flying section is over. And if you died a couple times on that, don't worry about it, it's bullshit. It's something that looks really cinematic and really enjoyable that just surmounts to a, a cheesy section. And right now, debris is going to start raining down from the top of this tower, so just be very careful, because as you can see, it <laughs> it comes pretty close, and if it hits you, it'll do a lot of damage. That's just how Chaos Mode works. It's the hardest difficulty. Everything's going to be hitting you for the most damage. So avoid the environmental hazards and um, use your platforming skills to get to this chain. Whip across here, and once again, there's another chain. And I will say one thing about this. I'm actually playing... Uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows at this moment in time. I got it off Love Film. It's very similar to this. And coming back and, and watching this as I do these commentaries, he's pretty much telling me how masterfully this game and the other God of Wars have been designed because everything in them is thought of from, a mo from the most accessible viewpoint. It's not looked up as on as... Uh, on as just from a challenge perspective, or from uh, an, an innovative perspective, or even from like um, something that looks badass, something that looks great. It's thought on as aesthetically pleasing and accessible to the user. And Castlevania Lord of Shadows is neither of those fucking things. The platforming on this game is majestic. It flows, it, it works, it's simple. They don't overstate its welcome, so that when you do a little bit of it, you're like, Oh, we're doing some more platforming. I don't mind at all. Let's do it. Castlevania Lord of Shadow, however, is a little fucking different. And it reminds me of the first time I played Uncharted 2, and I didn't know to look for the certain coloured pipes or the certain coloured ledges that indicate on that game that you can climb things. And I've stood around for ages, thinking, What the fuck am I supposed to do, because I can't see a damn thing. And Castlevania Lord of Shadows is even worse. It literally has 
the the way to go in the level off the screen you can't control the fucking camera so unless you know to do this certain move when you're dangling on a chain you physically can't get past it forward in that game and I was stuck for like 40 minutes and it really really pissed me off and I'm really enjoying the game but the more I play of it the more holes I'm finding and I don't know man it's it's nitpicking me and I hate when games do that but be careful on this section as you just saw I got hit because it's just bullshit you don't know which gaps gonna open until the last second and three hits and you're dead on these moments and I can take one more hit so I have to go into Jedi mode now to survive the rest of this but just keep dodging the debris but uh, as far as the Castlevania is concerned the things that I don't like about it are small like you have to say that you want to to restart the checkpoint. It's not just restart checkpoint, click, and you're back in the game. It then asks you, do you are you sure you want to restart the, the checkpoint? As if you've just said, do you want to kill a child? Are you sure you want to kill a child? And you're like, fuck no, I don't want to kill a child. I, I didn't even mean to press it. But on this game, it's like, do you want to restart because you just got cheesed by the game and it's bullshitness? Why would you ever say no? If you're gonna say no, the console had already been turned fucking off because you're in a in a in a rage or something, and that is unforgivable. If you ask me, uh, the the glint in there dictates that there's gonna be a chest, so make sure you pick it up. That for me is my third minotaur horn, so my bow's gonna get a little better. And the fact you can't control the camera on that Castlevania is a fucking nuisance as well. I don't like that whatsoever. But um, I'll talk more about that when I, I do a walkthrough for it because I'm going to be doing a, a fresh save walkthrough on Paladin difficulty. And it's uh, probably going to be pretty challenging, but it's one of those games where you can actually run from a lot of the encounters and completely skip them. So I'm hopefully going to be able to show you guys some really good ways of getting past nuisance sections, basically. And it's really long, so that's going to be interesting. But right now, this is one of the hardest sections of the game. And the reason for this is because there's a lot of enemies and they're all going to come onto the top of this cube and start attacking the central chain. If they attack that chain for long enough, it'll fall and you'll instantly die and have to restart it from the beginning. And you're probably wondering, and yes, you're right, it's as fun as it sounds. And why it's bad is because of A, the lock-on in God of War 3 is horrific, and uh, B, it's a, it's a lot of minotaurs. And the Minotaurs are, are not difficult, but when you get them in numbers, they can really kick your ass. And uh, it's not quite this section, sorry, what I'm speaking about, but I'm going to continue speaking about it because this stuff is easy and the, the section coming up isn't. And the, the best thing you can do when the Minotaur starts turning up is if you shoot them with your bow, it'll generally interrupt what they're doing and they'll come for you. And if you get them near the edge, you can do a certain bunch of moves that will actually knock them off. Uh, if you hold a triangle you should be able to knock them into the air and then from there you can do the, the grab and the circle, the, the L1 and circle and he'll do the, the chain grabs, bashes into them and that can knock them off. Also if you use your magic the army of Sparta's concussion now that it's level 2 will push them off as well and a really, a really easy way of doing this is to just use and exploit the fact that if you can get them near the edge you can use a couple of moves and knock them off and it saves you fighting them and all that time will be saved because if they can hit this chain you're going to be in trouble. But these first geezers turn up and they're a bunch of pussies and I was fighting them but I just couldn't be asked. and the run I recorded you're going to see me grab them and just push them around and throw them off the edge because it's a lot quicker and you don't have to worry about getting a cheeky hit while you're doing combos. And I do apologize if I sound a bit Barry Whiteish because my fucking throat is killing me but there's nothing you can do about the start bit they always hit that because it's part of a cutscene and the first thing I do did you see how the arrows knocked that minotaur up and now I've got him on his back if I do that move it pushes him off that only works though when you stun him and the laid grab down because if you do it to an armoured guy he's just going to push you away but now I've got him stunned I grab him I push him I grab him I push him but he recovered the dickhead so I'm gonna have to go over and take him out so I fire my, my arrow at him it gets him mad he comes for me I block his dive I start beating him up I do that to stun him it doesn't quite stun him the way I wanted I'll block him again do I bounce him no it didn't bounce him oh he's win his attack <laughs> dodge that 
But as long as he's coming for you, you're not in any trouble. If he starts hitting that chain, you need to really prioritise. Ooh, there we go, that was a nice cheeky one. But um, I get the execution instead, because it's going to give me a little bit of life, and it's going to take him out. But after this, there's going to be another two sets of Minotaurs that spawn, so if you don't like fighting Minotaurs, this section is going to get you really good at fighting them, because you have to kill them quick. And if you don't, you're going to fail. That's not me being evil, that's the game just basically throwing a big fuck you part at you. And I know these guys are going to climb up, that's why I'm preemptively charging my bow. And I'm just going to do the same with these dudes, because it's pointless to waste your time with them, they're easy. And then shoot those archers over there as quickly as you can, because they've never caused me too much problems, but they're pretty accurate and there's nothing worse than being stunned when one of the Minotaurs is coming for you and you can't block. So you come over here, it looks clear, but it isn't. So, you know, take a nice, well-earned drink of water, or coffee, or booze, or whatever you're on. Good old swig of a beer, and then get ready to fight two more Minotaurs. And that is the perfect way of dealing with these douchebags. Because that, <laughs> that guy went sailing off of that. And it's just me and him now, and he's not even bothered about the chain, so I can just focus on slapping him with my tail. And I block him, I counter him, that knocks him down, and I should be able to do what? No, you see, that's the block. But the second one got through, luckily enough, which was good. Ooh, he's blocking me. Cheeky sword. Counter, and look at that. Poetry. Wait for them to attack, then counter them off the edge. And now there's a Cerberus. And this guy is a bit of a nuisance. But you've fought ones before, you've fought harder versions of these before, so he shouldn't be too bad. And you've got all your magic so just take him as you please and as soon as you get the circle you should get on him and you should be able to use him and when this happens minotaurs are going to spawn aim for the minotaurs as quickly as you can because there's three of them you see I kill that one super quick I hammer that one super there's four sorry four minotaurs and just do as much as you can to them because when he dies you're going to have to fight the rest of these dudes and because that chain is very vulnerable it isn't as easy as it looks so as soon as you do this move, it's you against the whatever Minotaurs you've got left. And I just hope you killed enough to have this manageable. And right there, I did it again. I hate the fucking PS3 analogs. I swear to God. And I don't care if you're a PS3 fanboy, but they click like fucking hookers do when they move their hips. I swear to God, it's ridiculous. You push them in and it registers twice because they're so damn sensitive. So I wasted a ton of my army of Sparta then, which pisses me off, but learn from my mistakes, don't do it. And when you're down to one Minotaur, this pit's cake. Just make sure he doesn't hit the chain. Because if he does, you're restarting this section from the start, and there is no checkpoint. So be very careful, be very cautious, and be very ruthless, basically. And he's going off this edge. <laughs> See ya, son. And that's one of the hardest parts of the game, so congratulations. Wipe the sweat off your brow, and let's get this shit on. But coming to the end of this video, guys, so thanks for watching, and you take care now.